tragically, and much to Belize's regret, on the 20th April 2016, a Guatemalan miner was fatally shot and his father and brother injured when they came in contact with a Belizean patrol in one of our protected national parks in the dead of night. An investigation was forthwith commenced by the Belize Police Force. Additionally, officials of the Organization of American States stationed at the adjacency zone between Belize and Guatemala immediately commenced their own investigation. And at the specific behest of Guatemala, Belize requested the Secretary General of the Organization of American States to cause to be launched a special official independent investigation into the incident. The report of the Special Independent Commission chronicles what really took place on the night of the incident. The objective, impartial findings of fact established the correctness of the Belize's position from the start and the wholly erroneous nature of the allegations leveled against our country by Guatemala. The report completely absolves Belize of any and all blame for the incident. It makes manifest the wrongness of Guatemala's accusations against Belize and against the personnel of our Belize Defense Force. Guatemala has since publicly rejected the Commission's report. However, it is certainly irresponsible, if not reprehensible and utterly unacceptable that Guatemala should now seek to reject the results of a process which it had specifically requested and agreed to, and which was conducted by OAS-appointed independent third country professionals with impeccable credentials and with no ax to grind. And the wanton threat of use of force by a nation against its neighbor is wholly uncalled for recklessly dangerous and in clear violation of the Charter of this United Nations and in, can in no wise be countenanced. Madam Chair, Belize's only wish is to live in peace and harmony with all our neighbors, including Guatemala. We fully appreciate that with each passing day, with more and more Guatemalans trespassing into our country, despoiling our natural resources and engaging in illegal and destructive activities, the potential for violent incidents and conflicts becomes more and more probable and problematic. This situation makes for a prompt and peaceful end to this anachronistic and unfounded claim over our country, an urgent imperative. 